I'm going to show you guys the 10 console commands that you guys need to know in 2024. Either you're a new player or an experienced player, these commands are very important to up your game a little bit and could even give you a little bit of an advantage. But before we get into that, what we want to do is first go into your settings and then we want to go to game and we want to make sure the developer console is enabled. Now, once you enable this, obviously your tilde key will be your console just like this. And this is how we're going to enter the commands. Now, the first command that we want to put in is the show team equipment command, which is this command right here. It is plus CL underscore show underscore underscore equipment. Now, what this command does for us when we click enter, it makes it so we can see our teammates through the wall and we can also see what nades they have. This is very important if you want to be a leader in the round where you can call an execute or maybe, you know, you're walking towards B apps and you're looking around seeing like, hey, man, you have a smoke. Can you smoke mark a window? You know, hey, you have two flashes. Can you double flash for me? This command is definitely awesome, especially as you can see, I can see my teammate all the way across the map. So if you are someone that's maybe anchoring B, you can keep an eye on everyone's utility. Or maybe if you're the B lurk and you want to keep an eye on the A lurk as well, you can see what utility he has and how you can end the round. So that command is very, very important if you do want to be a leader or maybe you're an IGL on your team as well. Using that command will give you an advantage and definitely help you keep an eye on your teammates. Now, this next command is very important. If you guys see what I have up here on my screen, this is one of the best ways to show your FPS. You can actually show your FPS. There is a show FPS command, but one thing I don't like about this is how big it is on my screen. As you can see on the top left here, it is definitely very, very large, and I feel like it gets in the way. So instead of using that command, we obviously have this command right here, which is seal underscore HUD underscore telemetry underscore frame time underscore show and i have it set on two now you can't have it set on one but it's not going to show your frames it's actually just going to show your ping and if you have any packet loss so i put it on two just so i can see what my average fps is and then i can also see kind of what my frame time is as well and this is you know obviously a good command if you don't want to have this big buffer in your screen that's just blocking half of your screen i'm not a big fan of having that because i feel like it also gets in the way of my mini map so just putting on that command can kind of show you what frames you get i don't think you need it on all the time but since I am a competitive player, I like to see what my FPS is if my game does kind of feel kind of bad. So I like to see if I, you know, maybe need to restart my game or if I have something running in the background that definitely affects my frames. So if you are someone that does struggle with frame rate and you want to see, you know, what your frames are, or maybe you're messing with settings, I definitely recommend turning on that command. Or if you are a competitive player, it's very good that you have that as well as so you can see your ping and your packet loss as well. So if you feel like you are lagging inside of the server, that command is very good just to kind of Analyze the game for you and see if there is any problems that can help you and maybe it'll show you if you need to get some new internet But before I get into those next console commands I really do appreciate if you guys check out the sponsor of this video skins monkey skins monkey is a CS2 skins trading site and marketplace that provides an instant way to get new skins My favorite thing about skins monkey is that I can trade skins that I no longer want and trade it for a skin that is equal value If you use code Louis CS2 you get a $5 bonus on your first trade if you want to buy skins, you can get a 30% deposit bonus plus an extra 5% using my code. The link is down in the description. So once you guys got some cool skins in your inventory from Skins Monkey, let's talk about the next command. Now this command was very popular when CS2 first came out because we all thought CS2 was really, really bright. So this command is R underscore full screen underscore gamma. And what this does is it helps adjust the brightness. So the lower numbers will make it brighter and the higher numbers will obviously make it less bright. Now there is a lot of people out there that, you know, thought they found the sweet spot to make it look like obviously CSGO. And I think that sweet spot was around 2.5 or three. As you can see, three actually makes it, you know, a little bit too dark for me. I don't know how it looks on my recording right now, but I'm someone who likes my gamma around two because I just feel like this is the perfect balance for me. Now, obviously you guys can mess around and just try to feel what works best for you. But I do remember when CS2 first came out, someone did find that command and they kind of, you know, obviously adjusted it to make it look like CSGO since CS2 felt so, so bright. And I don't really remember what the default setting was, but you can definitely go around and just mess with this command to see if any of these make it feel, you know, a little bit more warm or obviously, you know, a less bright for you guys. 
I think 2.5 looks a lot like CSGO in my opinion because it's obviously not just blinding my eyes with a brightness like it does with the default settings. So this is definitely very important for you guys to go and mess around with to find your settings. And it's a lot easier to, you know, obviously mess with the setting instead of going, you know, messing with your brightness and everything like that. So if you want to make the game feel like CSGO or maybe you're new to CS2 and you feel like it's too bright, this command is definitely one that you need to play around with. Now, this next one isn't a command, it's rather just binds, but it's very important if you want to be a competitive player. And these are grenade binds. As you can see, I can literally just switch to whatever grenade I want with a few little binds that I have. And this is very important because in the high level Counter-Strike, it's a lot harder to sit here and swap nades when you really need one. Like if my teammate asks for a flash over bench and I'm rotating from cat, if I have to sit here and scroll through my nades and then maybe I accidentally, you know, over scroll, I have to go all the way through again. So it's better to have binds. We can literally just obviously click on a key and it's gonna pull out that grenade. Now we could go through binds, but just to be kind of user friendly, instead of going into our console, we can literally go to keyboard or mouse, and then we can find where these grenades are. And as you can see, if we go to keyboard or mouse under weapon keys, we scroll down a little bit. We have HE grenade, flashbang, smoke grenade, our decoy, our Molotov. Now for these, these are set to numbers for me, but I actually have them set on my Z, C, and V key. So in my auto exec, it does exec what these commands are, so I don't really have to go in here and do that. But it's very important that you guys do find comfortable keys that you can quickly switch to. And if you have trouble, you know, remembering what keys that these are set, there's actually a really cool thing on the internet right now that you guys can go buy and it's some keycaps i'm not sponsored by anyone that makes keycaps but they have them where you know they have like grenade pictures on them so if you want to put those on your keyboard you definitely can so if you have to look down and you know find your smoke one or maybe your flashbang obviously you can make keycaps for that now i personally do not use those but if you are new to counter-strike or maybe you're just a you know casual player and you only play counter-strike that can be something really cool and fun to have on your keyboard so then when you have that tinder girl over she's like wow those keycaps are cool you must play counter-strike now this next bind is very important because there is a few times where you're going to need this and it's maybe once or twice a game which is very important because it could be a very crucial round but it's a mini map zoom bind. Now CS2 did an update a while ago where you can actually just bind this in game instead of having to make a command which makes it a lot easier for me and a lot easier for new players to you know maybe explain this a little bit but if you go to your settings and go to game under radar and tablet you can see at the bottom here there's a go to radar toggle key binding now i have it in my auto exec i have my own command but you can obviously just set whatever key you want to this option and what this is going to do is going to help you with a lot of smoke so if let's say someone smokes like deep jungle right here it's very important to note that if i have my mini map zoomed out all the way it's going to be hard for me to get into window so if i actually zoom in i'm not going to get lost in the smoke and i can literally just navigate my way through it it's the same way for maybe if we throw like a deep bottom con smoke and maybe I'm fighting towards, you know, underpass, and then all of a sudden I'm going to sit in this smoke. I don't want to, you know, obviously be lost in this smoke, so I can just zoom in, and I can just find my way out very easily. Also, what this can do is help you face smokes as well, where if, let's say, we smoke, like, in con like this, I can literally see on my minimap where I'm aiming, and then my teammate, obviously, on the other side that's facing this with me, can also see where he's aiming as well with the little white triangle on the player, player minimap thing there. So then it's obviously easier for you to just be ready for wherever you are aiming. And this is very important at a high level of play because you don't want to get lazy and you don't want to miss out on these good opportunities that can win you around. So if you are a high ranking player, or maybe you're, you know, obviously a low rank and you're trying to rank up, this is a good bind to have that little advantage that can help you win some of those rounds that you usually don't win. Now, the next console commands that I do want to go over are just, they're little, you know, minor console commands, but it's very important that you guys do know these and they are the view model command. So if I do view model underscore and then offset, we have three options, which are the underscore X. Now the X is, you know, obviously left to right. So if you want a more center view model, you can obviously put in the lower numbers, but if you want a max one, I think the max is 2.5. And you also have your view model Y. Now this is the distance of the gun going forward and backwards. So me personally, I'm someone who likes to have this at one or two. I know a lot of other players like to have this at two where their gun is all the way out. I do see this very, very often, especially in NA with the pug stars. 
they definitely always have their gun just really just out there. It's just out there. Okay, so this is this is something if you feel like you are struggling, I think a view model change is the best thing that you can do for setting wise, because it also feels like you are, you know, messing with your game a little bit, but it's not messing you up completely. Now, the last view model setting that is in here is obviously the Z command. Now, this one is up and down. I personally like to have this at negative 1.4. People say it kind of looks like the gangster view model, and I also think this is what Stewie uses as well. I know someone like Nico used to have his view model like right here on negative one, but this also goes all the way to, I think it's negative two where your gun's all the way at the bottom. This is probably one of the most common view models in North America at the moment, to be honest, or obviously just the default one. I don't really see that many people using the Doom view model where it's literally in the middle of my screen. But like I said, for me, I'm someone who likes to have this around here. I feel like this just makes me feel in control of the game. So if you are someone that is kind of struggling, obviously this is definitely something that you guys could change is your view model because it could just make you feel like you are aiming a little different. It's almost like a crosshair change, but you're not changing anything that's going to cause inconsistency. It could just be a nice little placebo effect that you could tell you that if you change your view model, you're going to play a lot better. And then your game's just obviously going to be a lot better. So if you guys are struggling in game, I would definitely recommend changing your view model and using those commands that I just showed. Now, this last command is very important because a lot of people have this at the bottom of their screen right now, and it's not something that obviously you want on your screen. So to get rid of this, it is literally just R underscore show underscore build underscore info. And then you want to change this to zero. This will disable the build information at the bottom left of your screen. And you're not going to have all those words just there, just looking at you. And it's not a big distraction. Just kind of like how I explained the FPS thing up here. You want to minimize as much distractions as you can on your screen, and that can can also help you on that so if you are someone that struggles to focus or doesn't want a lot of things on their screen this command is obviously going to help you but those are all the commands i have for you guys today so if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out